So you're talking to world leaders about why it's important to care for the least. That's least. right. Mm -hmm. And what, what would you say are, are a couple of those uh, key things? Why should we care for the least of these? Well, I just think it's, first of all, it is part of being a Christ follower, but and also in the Old Testament as well. Uh, you know, when we find uh, the gleaner's piece in uh, uh, the Old Testament where part of the law and it's and it was situated right in the part in Leviticus where it says you know do not steal do not and but your fields you're to leave the corners of your fields for the widows the orphans and the aliens uh, and then we find that all the way through Jesus teaching as well so that's who we are as people of God uh, we, we, we really can't live any other way if we're really going to be the people of God it is about caring for the least of these caring for the widows, the orphans, the aliens, uh, the poor. Um, and then I, I might add also, I love, John Wesley lived this out so marvelously. It's another reason why I'm so glad to be a Wesleyan. And when we see the model that happened in England. And so that's such an example of the power of the Holy Spirit that transformed lives, but then came along and transformed culture, you know, and it was, um, the, Wesley, I, I'm sure had he not been kicked out of the church and had to go out to the coal fields, he would have never seen poverty. Or he would have never been in touch with poor people. But then when he saw how they lived and children being placed up in the coal mines and, uh, and, and, and uh, having to work and no education if you were poor and so forth, he, and then changed the laws on this. He didn't just say, oh, isn't that terrible? But we're gonna change this, we're gonna change, that system is evil. Mm -hmm. I always loved the one on the corn laws where the price of ale had, I mean, the price of grain had become high because they were making a lot of money on ale and poor people couldn't buy bread. So I think in our day, we'd have said, okay, everybody go to the grocery store, buy bread for the poor people and take it down. But that isn't what Wesley said. No, we're going to change the law so poor people can have dignity and buy their own bread. And so that's what they did. Uh, and then, of course, his great words right before he died to Wilberforce regarding slavery that it was uh, the most vile evil that had ever been under the sun um, and needed to be ta taken care of. So uh, I believe that, that but that, that can't happen unless we have the power of the Holy Spirit at work in that process. Mm -hmm. So I, that's why I believe that, that, and then of course the historians tell us that what happened in England, uh, England was saved from the bloody revolution that France had because of the, of the revivals and the structural and, and social change that took place. That just happens. When, when, when we talk about revival, uh, I think that true revival impacts the culture. It isn't just feeling good for a while. It is not just personal, but it, it will impact an entire city, an entire community, an entire area. That's where, where the change comes.